The book of Ecclesiasticus of the book of Sirach, chapter 31, verse 5. He that loveth gold shall not be justified, and he that followeth corruption shall have enough thereof. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 13. Consider the work of Yahweh, for who can make that straight? which he hath made crook. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory. Call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwa, the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, looking like the other nations. I'm subscribing to this truth to you, I say Shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sapa of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And, um, you know, I woke up to a video that the elder um, Yashawamba out of Dallas posted, and, uh, you know, it's just going into, you know, that Hillary Clinton, he put Hillary. <laughs> The damn demon, but you know, basically, um, just showing you how corrupt and you know, just how flawed the system is, and in a system that this is that is this corrupt, it cannot stand. You know, um, I'm just gonna play a video, um, and then I'm gonna come out with some more precepts. It shouldn't be a long video, but um, just showing you the corruption of this place. So that's just like a, a wicked person. You know, if you ever watch a movie and you got a, a bad guy. Usually, most people are rooting for the good guy. You know, you, usually, most people are hoping that the bad guy goes down, and you know, the good guy saves the day, or the movie ends with the good guy winning. You know, you rarely get those movies where the bad guy wins. Well, in actuality, if that's the case, you know, what makes you think that a place that this is this corrupt is going to have a happy ending? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like um, brother brought out, a, we did a sit down yesterday. He said, when you really follow history and actually study history, you'll find out history truly does repeat itself. Why do you think you got certain trends and fashions that come back in style? You know what I mean? You'll be surprised. I mean, you got certain things that was done. When you go into ancient Egypt, like when you get the makeup and, you know, um, a lot of different trends and different Things that was used in the society we use today in modern society, proving that, you know, history does repeat itself. But without further ado, because like I said, this shouldn't be a long video. And those scriptures are self-explanatory, you know what I mean? If it's something crooked and the Lord made it crooked, it's meant to be crooked, you know what I'm saying? The thing is, the Lord uses everybody, a wicked person, an evil person, or a righteous person for his will. You know, tells you in the book of Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach that all things bend to the will of the Mosiah. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to play um, this video, and I got some um, scripts, um, so Lord willingly, it's edifying. Tom Fitton. 
Well, Tom, you've been fighting a tough battle throughout, uh, and I just uh, I, you can't have been shocked uh, with that, with those odds uh, that you would prevail. Your reaction tonight? Well, it's frustrating, obviously. We're thinking of how we can appeal or whether we can appeal. But uh, look, I mean, you had the court here grant her mandamus relief, which is what they're so hesitant to grant General Flynn. She ran the agency, she hit her emails, she took them and then deleted them. The court wanted to know what was going on, what was the court being gamed, where were the documents, what was she thinking, and you had the appellate court uh, really upend the rule of law on both FOIA and mandamus, which supposedly is supposed to be only rarely invoked. I mean, they essentially said she has an indisputable right not to testify. Indisputable. And on top of that, they threw back at us all the arguments that the Justice Department and the, Se and, and the State Department have made. And frankly, Attorney General Barr and Secretary Pompeo are partly responsible for this adverse result because their agencies have been defending her in the lower courts repeatedly and trying to stop our uh, discovery, and the court used that against us. Terrible, terrible outcome. But we'll see if we can appeal it. Why would you not be able to appeal it? It's a corrupt judiciary. Even the uh, higher courts have to acknowledge that. And you have Obama judges uh, outnumbering the George W. Bush, which is, by the way, a 3-0 uh, bias, it would seem to be. Yeah, well, you know, the, the lawyers have to look at it and figure out whether we can appeal legally. Uh, you can imagine what I'd like to do, but we'll, we'll do what we need to do in order to hold Mrs. Clinton accountable under the law and hold the State Department accountable under the law. You know what now, by the way, Lou, it's still happening. The attorneys at the Justice Department are colluding with Hillary Clinton's attorneys. It happens. They're fighting us together. It's incredible, and it's a betrayal of everyone who expected law and order from this new Justice Department. Oh, well, what is William Barr doing about it? Nothing. I have never seen such non-verbal communication from you before, but every bit is eloquent, uh, I assure you. Uh, the, uh, let's, let's turn to Kleinsmith, uh, the positive side of an attorney general who's taken over and uh, has produced a result. That's it's right. late. It is also not at the level that any of us would want, but it is a beginning. Your thoughts? Well, obviously, it's not sufficient. Uh, it certainly was necessary. It's overdue, as you point out. But it's confirmation that Obama gates a crime. Carter Page is a victim of a crime. President Trump is a crime victim. Because remember, this isn't really about Carter Page, although he's obviously the victim and, and uh, his rights were violated. This is about getting a way to spy on the Trump team. So President Trump had his civil rights violated as well. Well, it's, it's, it's also an interesting, there's a, an interesting cross current here uh, with uh, Crossfire Hurricane. Uh, and uh, the uh, Obama Gate and its origins, uh, and the attack uh, on, uh, on uh, General Flynn. Uh, this is a mess that was stewed up by we now know certainly August of 2016, and one suspects even earlier than that. Right? That's exactly right. And we have confirmation that um, many others than this, this lawyer knew that there were lies being told to the court. And remember. They, the FISA wasn't the only way to spy on Trump. You had Comey personally spying on Trump in those meetings. You had the, the, uh, the, the spying during the campaign. Uh, when, when Comey went to visit the president about uh, the dossier, the president-elect, that was a spy operation. He had talked about uh, that meeting with Barack Obama and Joe Biden the day before in the Oval Office. So I, if, if there's going to be sufficient justice here, in the least, Obama, Biden, and Hillary Clinton, who's behind this all, and this goes back to the earlier story, all need to be questioned by the Justice Department as opposed to being protected. Well, explain to me this. Why aren't we at least hearing some evidence of energy behind an investigation of uh, Fusion GPS? Why don't we know more about those entities in London, whether they're Stefan Halper, whomever it may be, uh, what happened to the Australian ambassador? I, I mean, the, the, he, he starts stepping back over time, and it's still frayed, uh, it's disparate, uh, and the fact of the matter is there doesn't appear to be great concentration 
on what has to be uh, the leadership of this conspiracy. In fact, we've heard people verbalize uh, the fact that they're not interested in Obama. They're not interested in Biden, yet we know full well both of those two people were involved in conversations about uh, the origins of Obamagate and its direction. I fear this may be the only prosecution, Lou. I, I, you know, maybe Strzok gets prosecuted. I don't know. Maybe McCabe. I don't know. But I'm not seeing any evidence they focused on them. All of what you're asking about, we're going to get in the report, and that's supposed to be sufficient. It isn't sufficient for me. Uh, we didn't hire Durham to write a report. We hired him to prosecute people and seriously investigate them. It's one thing to make a decision not to prosecute after you haul everyone before a grand jury and hold them accountable and make it clear that you're serious about it. It's another thing to do this review that happens to turn into a criminal investigation after the IG forces your hand and, and then end with one prosecution or plea agreement with someone who they had dead the rights almost a half a, over a half a year ago. Well, the president still has, it is obvious, considerable confidence in William Barr. Therefore, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, uh, and uh, we just will see what we see. Uh, all that's riding on this is the future of this constitutional republic of ours. Tom Fitton, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. So there you have it. And... Once again, I'm going to bring out Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 13. Consider the work of Yahweh while Yahweh shah, for who can make that straight which he have made crooked. So therefore, once again, like I said, if the Lord put a wicked spirit on somebody or to, you know, be a two-third, and if it's the Lord's will for him to be a two-third or to be wicked, then that's the will of the Lord. You know what I mean? You got to take the time to think about this. Everything in the scriptures is written a certain kind of way. So without like without America coming to the height of the power, you know, and it's funny because, you know, at one point in time, I'm listening to Edomites literally say, you know, that, that guy Glenn Beck that used to be the host for that Fox, um, I forgot what was the name of his show he had, but, you know, he used to bring out some really pertinent and, and, and actually good information. I remember, I remember literally... He brought out the fact that the Native Americans, the so-called Native Americans, the tribe of Gad, were actually Israelites. He brought that up. And then he lost his show um, shortly after that. But I, I, I know, I think he has a show on YouTube called Blaze or something now. And basically, he had a, another guest on there or something. And basically, they were saying, basically, you know, you got these Edomites seeing that their kingdom is over with. You know, they showing pictures of Times Square, New York. Times Square is our financial district. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when you go up into New York, that's where your our financial district is. You know, you got people that, like... Pray their whole life to go to New York to shop and just be in a big apple. They're showing that place deserted. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people call, you know, me crazy and people that believe. That's how I know I'm not crazy because, I mean, if you had this whole mindset in your mind and it was only you, this whole idea, then, yeah, you may be considered crazy. But at the same time, when there's a groups of people that's seeing it and you don't see it, you better question and ask yourself why the fuck you don't see it. You get what I'm saying? Like... At the end of the day, and that's the, sc the scary part about it because it tells you in scripture that the Most High, when he sends his son back, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, literally all eyes are going to see him. You know what I mean? And by the time, if you hear when he come back, nine times out of ten, you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because when the destruction's happening, you know what I mean? You're you, you going to have those righteous souls that's going to get beamed up, and you're going to have those wicked souls fitted to destruction. It talks about the vessels of wrath, I believe, in the book of Romans. But anyhow, you know, um, like I said, back to Ecclesiastes 7 and 13, it says, who can make straight what the Most High made crooked? Because at the end of the day, everything bends to his will. So like I said, he created the righteous as well as the wicked. Um this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 4. The Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh, Shah, hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So, you know, because at the end of the day, it tells you in Scripture, in the book of Proverbs, about that the Most High is a balanced power, you know what I mean? You know, he 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 controls the powers on the left-hand side that create evil, and he controls the powers on the right-hand side that controls, you know, righteousness. It tells you that. That's what... You know, it, um, it, that's why it says in the book of Proverbs about a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. You know, 
you got these people, you had got these men, you know, doctrines of men. It always, it, I mean, if you really read the scriptures, scriptures tell you about that. You're going by doctrines of men. The, what the Bible says and what these institutions that's built up, uh, these church houses and shit like that, they don't say the same thing. You, you got scriptures, you got people that literally say that the scriptures talk about God loves everybody. When I can go point you multiple scriptures that God tell you he hate. You know what I mean? So, I mean... At the end of the day, I'm considered crazy, let them tell it, but yet still, I can go show you proof positive. And then the craziest part, you'll have people, I've seen people reject it when it's in their face still. So, you know, at the end of the day, you got to question yourself, why is it, I mean, and, and, and what's even more funny, I mean, what, what's more comical is this, that at the end of the day, with all this shit going down, you know what I mean? Like literally, just a month ago when everybody was getting these little, government checks and shit like that because the government was giving you unemployment a ridiculous amount of unemployment at that you gotta try and figure that out you know what i mean like why would they give you more money not to work than they was giving you when you was working nah everybody's not getting that it, you can see the stress on people i got cussed out by a bro that i don't even talk to <laughs> got the nerve to call me crazy but yet still everybody in the building considered crazy you know what I mean? So it's it just, you know, I, I at the end of the day, all based on because of the fact that what I listen to or my belief system. You know, it's funny. I won't say this much. It's funny. People want you to remember 9-11. They want you to remember the Alamo. They want you to remember everything that happened to every fucking body else but the, what happened to your people. And then it's an issue when you got something to say about what happened to your fucking people. That's, our people are very fucking weak. And that's why, you know, they're going to be susceptible to whatever this fucking devil come with. You know what I mean? Not without even using any guile or of subtlety. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, what happened with Hillary Clinton, you know, getting off, it's all the will of the Lord. Because at the end of the day, everything has to take place the way, that, and according to the way the Most High wants it to take place. So therefore, you know what I mean, her getting off is going to lead to something else, you know what I mean? Like, I recall at one point in time, um, Obama making a statement about, um, he worried about a, a, a nuclear bomb going off in Manhattan. I had a weird ass dream about, or a vision about Obama. I'm not going to go into it because, you know, I don't want to be deemed a liar, but you know what I mean? You what, 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 People don't even realize that this whole Black Lives Matter thing is a, basically a, a ploy by the Democrats. That's why the money that's getting raised up by the Democrats is literally, I mean, by the Black Lives Matter is literally going into the Democrats' fundraiser. So it tells you in scripture about how a city divided cannot stand. So if you got the Democrats going against the Republicans, which they always made it seem like they were against each other, but then when you really go through history and actually research, you'll find out every president, Democrat or Republican, has literally pushed the longer agenda. That's how the elites work. They they fund both sides. This is like the elites will start a war and fund both sides of the war because that's the biggest profits they'll get. I mean, you know, they truly are corrupt. Bear with me for a second. So lock it. So once again, like I said, you know, um, the scripture said that um, what can who can make straight what the most High has made crook because at the end of the day, they are meant to be the wicked. And it tells you in the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And who basically has the, the world in their palms? I mean, who is literally behind the policies that's been pushed around the whole earth? Who is the man literally on TV talking about the whole earth has to be vaccinated? You know, when you go into um, Bill Gates' background, he's a so-called Jew. He's an Amazon. When you go deeper into his, his background, they say that shit, he's supposed to be a, 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 a scion of the Rockefellers or the Rothschilds or one of them. When you go into the, all that, the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds are all the same bloodline. But he's supposed to be related to one of them. Now, this man is the face basically trying to tell the whole world that they got to get vaccinated. Which is actually is going to come to fruition, <laughs> for the most part. I mean, it, I mean, the, it, it doesn't say about. Uh, it says in scripture that basically everybody in the earth is, won't be chipped. That's when the Most High is going to, you know, 
It tells you about that in the book of Job, about when he sits down um, to, to eat, roughly paraphrasing, and, and the, the sufficiency of his fullness. You know, basically when he's thinking he's accomplished, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm probably butchering it a little bit, but I don't feel like, I'm going to get it real quick because I think it's Job 20. It's Job 20 and 22, in the fullness of his specific. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. So when the Most High, basically when he thinks that he's um, accomplished his task, that's when the Most High basically will bring him down low. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And when they go into wicked, that means, you know, it's talking about the Israelites, you know. And along with the other nations, you know, it talks about that in the book of Jeremiah. You know, he shall be at the chase row. You know, all the nations are going to be chasing this man once they realize what he has done, you know. Um uh, so lock it. This is book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 9. For there is no faithfulness in their mouths. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their tongues. Because at the end of the day, you know, like I said, not only is this this devil's power in um, his sword, it tells you in scripture that he was given the power of the sword. It tells you that in the book of Genesis as well as the book of Revelations, that red horse that was given a gray sword. But um, it tells you, I mean, it's multiple scriptures that go into this if you can extrapolate. You know what I mean? If you got the eyes to see and ears to hear. Yahweh Shah asked that. He said, if you can receive it. You know what I mean? Everybody's not going to receive this because everybody wasn't given the, 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 wasn't blessed by the Most High Yahweh to be given this. That's why, you know, uh, redemption and, and grace and, 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 and to be actually, you're not chosen. That's why it talks about in scripture, you're chosen. You know what I mean? Like you don't choose Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah chooses you. And it tells you that in the book of John 17, um, Yahweh Shah literally says the ones that you have given me. So that's why you're going to look like a spectacle. and People are going to assume you crazy. It tells you that, um, you know, blessed is he that's persecuted for my sake, you know. Um, this is the book of um, Psalms, chapter 58, verse 2. Yea, he, in heart you work wickedness. You weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. And that's the other power that they have, the power of deceit. When you go into the word devil, it just means the ablos uh, or, or deceiver. You know what I mean? And who is the biggest deceiver? Like I just told you, it, in Job 9 and 24, it said, uh, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who has literally, the, the, the judges are the, you know, uh, who is the the, the, the the main judge? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah? You know, the Most High God and His Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. He's covered their faces, painting their image to be a so-called white man, when literally it's enough. It tells you the description of the Most High God and His Son in the Scriptures. You know, and to show you how cold the Most High is, that's why it tells you in the book of Isaiah chapter 34 about this book has no mate. That's why this book is a living book because the things that's written in it come to pass. So, I mean, it's no book like it. No, no religion, you know, uh, or, or, or belief, you know, you, you know, it tells you in scripture that the, the gods of the other nations are idols, you know what I mean? And you got a lot of Jake that's caught up in that. It says their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are, and the funny part is, you know, we call them a dragon. You know, a dragon is a serpent, a flying serpent. You know, <laughs> you know, you know they all is deep, you know. They are like the deaf adder, which is another serpent that stop of her ear. Uh I think I'm gonna end it on this. Cause at the end of the day, I think the point is proven. Like I said, 
And, and if you can't see that this man is the wicked, when, like I said, literally while everything is going to shit, you would have thought, I mean, that's proven corruption right there. This lady literally, do you know how long ago as they was talking about basically she needed to go to, um, to court for the emails and how she destroyed the emails? You a public servant, you know what I mean? And now, some kind of way, because of all the corruption, they literally. <laughs> but you, but you, watch how many people literally ain't go pay attention to that. Day. You go have people paying attention to Black Lives Matter. You go have people paying attention to every goofy fucking thing. You got people trying to pay attention to when the, the if they're gonna start back the NFL and if high school football gonna be playing and if college football gonna be just the dumbest shit ever. This is the book of Second Thessalonians. I'm going to start at um, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. So the end should not come until there's a falling away. You know, and right now you got so many people, especially of our people, our race, our creed, our nationality, that don't believe in, you know, their Savior, that they're, that they're not going to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah. And that's why it tells you in Scripture it's going to be more that's going to be destroyed than saved. It says, um, For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. When you go into that word perdition, it's um, waste, perish. It's supposed to be destruction, though. I should have used the blue letter. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called power. So who is the man on the planet that told you that literally that, that goes against the law, statutes, and commandments of the scriptures? Who is the man that told you that this is a nation founded on biblical principles and then basically broke every biblical principle? You know what I mean? Like who is the man that legalized homosexuality now they put a a, a a black face on it like they always do and you got these stupid ass you know well i don't even like obama you know what i mean like i said like he was a openly like fucking gay fuck i mean i got information on obama with him with homosexuals and all that remember the the, the one i mean you know you got to remember that i forgot that what was that guy named larry sinclair you know what i mean what happened to that guy this was around the time when he first got in office too <laughs> <laughs> you got people that don't even understand that. This guy literally said that he was riding around in a in a limousine sucking Obama off. And they both, you know, he was in some kind of government position. I, I think he got killed too. I think he got killed shortly after that. So, well, not killed, murdered. You know, it's a difference between kill and murder. Anyhow, it says, um, let no man deceive you by, well, Salaki. It says, who opposes him is, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called Yahweh, while Yahweh Shah, or that is worship. And pretty soon, ain't this the man that stopped people from worshiping when they said, oh yeah, you got to quarantine, you got to lock down? <laughs> this is, uh, or that is worship, so that he as uh, power sitteth in the temple of power, showing himself that he is a power. Who is the man that's telling you you got to walk around with a, with, a, with, a, with a mask on all day? I got videos showing the dude Fauci literally saying at one point in time you didn't have to wear the mask. It was no point to buy all the masks. Now it's mandatory you wear a mask. I remember at one point in time Donald Trump wasn't wearing a mask. It took him what? Six months to actually just start being seen with a mask on. <laughs> I got footage of showing when they was all in Congress. All the congressmen weren't wearing no fucking mask. It says, um, so that he as power sitteth in the temple of power, showing himself that he is power. So at the end of the day, like I said, it tell you in scripture in the book, Salaki, in the book of Psalms 118, uh, put not the trust in man. You know what I mean? And you got a lot of people that's going to trust in this man. That's why you got so many people that's going to be willingly just running to go get this vaccine, thinking that the world is going to go back to the way it was when the world will never go back to the way it was. I mean, you that generation that the Messiah was spoke on, oh, uh, adulterous generation that seek after a sign, but no sign shall be given except for the sign of Jonah, the prophet. And can you break that down? You got people that's telling you what's happening, but you know, you so stiff hearted and stiff neck, you don't want to come back to the truth. 
I mean, it ain't even about the, the other nations. This is about, you know, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. Because at the end of the day, you don't have no power except for, you know, our spiritual power, Yahweh, Yahweh, You know what I mean? You know, you don't have a, a, a you, you, you don't have a, a standing army. You don't have, you don't even have unity in, within your community. <laughs> That's how much the most high jacked this up. So how do you think you're going to survive what's coming? These people literally got remote control drones and tanks and all kinds of other shit. You know what I'm saying? And exoskeletons like Iron Man. But so lucky not to digress. So at the end of the day, I just found it through the spirit a needed video because, like I said, I'm not surprised that uh, I thought that they was going to start off a war or something before. <laughs> they just go to here and said, no, we go. I'm wondering, just imagine what all she had to do to have that much pull to basically have judges and shit just say, oh, no, you can't even make her testify. <laughs> yeah, you stupid ass people still believing in this system. Hey, but like I told you, once again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end on that because there's a scripture in the book of Psalms that talks about that. Put not thy trust in man. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 118. It's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. So you got people putting their trust in Donald Trump and all. And, and, and what's that What's that bro name? Kamala, Kamala Harris that don't even register being a nigga. Do you know her policies? She punished more niggas that look like her than she did punish. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it. <laughs> But they, they, and, and, and that's our people too. It tell you a scripture, literally, uh, we wanted to be like the other nations. We was unique out of all the other nations. We didn't have a king. We had the most high was our king. Until the, you know, the most high put Moses. I got one more scripture. I'm going to end the lesson. This is the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. It says, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, while Yahweh shot. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and make of flesh his arm and whose heart departeth from the Lord. So at the end of the day, cursed be the man that trusteth in man. You're going to trust in Donald Trump and this broad Kamala Harris and, you know, all these politicians to fix this shit for you when they're going to lead you to your death and detriment. And with that, I'm going to end the lesson. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory. Call Halayim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rechak, Dosukatam. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akin around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwa, the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, it was an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad. Until next time, Lord willingly, Shalom, Shalom, and Mawak Lababoa, Shalom.